Hello, this is Brock with your Tech Leverage, and I'm going to be showing you some tips to help ease your navigation purposes in the new Windows 8. Uh, these are a few things that uh, I've started using, and once you get to using them, uh, they really help out tremendously. So here we are with Windows 8. This is your typical start screen. Um, you can click the desktop icon right here, desktop app. Uh, another cool feature is you hit your Windows key and press D at the same time. So hold Windows, hit D, it takes you directly to the desktop. Go back to the start menu. Uh, another really cool feature that Windows 8 threw in here, as long as you're in this start menu right here, this, this uh, Metro Apps environment, it doesn't matter what you type in. I'm, and here's an example. We'll just start typing. We'll say paint. Voila. So as long as you're in the start menu and you start typing, whatever you type, Windows will try to find. So it's really handy for trying to find uh, some kind of program you need. So let's just try uh, Google. Uh, there it is. All right. So that's really handy. Now, so if you're back in your desktop and you want to find something, if you don't want to go to the start menu and start typing, which I do suggest tremendously, it helps so much once people start using that. But another way to do it is if you hit your Charms button, so it's Windows C for Charms, and over here you get your Start or your uh, your Search. So it's basically the same way. So there you have it. And we'll get out of here. Go directly back to the Start area right here. So uh, another really cool feature, and a lot of people have been trying to find this, uh, s some shortcuts to kind of get to some of the more intricate parts of your computer. If you hit the Windows key plus the X, it brings up this command over here. And you get desktop, run, search. So basically all those cool features that you normally did find in the start bar. Now this is not normally, this is not a typical start menu, so don't use it as such. But you can find your very useful tools here that really help along. Another one is the Windows key plus I. Now this is going to give you a few options that uh, you can power off your machine, change your network devices and stuff like that. If you're in the desktop environment and you do the same thing, Windows I, uh, you get your control panel, personalization, PC info and stuff like that. So it's a little different depending on where you are at, whether you're in the metro environment, the, the start metro environment or the desktop. So those were some cool features that I just wanted to show you real quick. So we got the Windows X brings up some helpful tools there. Windows I brings over some helpful tools there. Windows C is your charms bar which gives you your search and your settings. And of course Windows D which we're already at right now. If you hit Windows D again it takes you back to the start menu. And here is the last but not least so it doesn't matter what you type in here so we'll just go Google and look it just found it for us. This is the most helpful one I think people will like. If you need something and you can't find your program and you're banging your head against the wall because you normally went to the start menu and you could not find it, just go to your start and type whatever you're looking for and bam, there it is. All right, well, that's been uh, some helpful tips. and. Please say like if you like this video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Thank you.